Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and as we come to the end of May, Mary's month, I have some thoughts about the Blessed Virgin Mary for you. One of the most important documents that the Second Vatican Council wrote is called Lumen Gentium, the light of the peoples. It's about the church, what the church is and does. And the final chapter of this document is about Mary. I think one reason for this is that since Mary was the mother of Jesus Christ, she is also the mother of the body of Christ, the church. Mary is important in the life of Jesus and therefore in the lives of the followers of Jesus. But she's important only because of Jesus. The council was very clear on this when it wrote, there is but one mediator as we know from the words of the apostle Paul, for there is one God and one mediator of God and men, the man Christ Jesus who gave himself a redemption for all. The maternal duty of Mary toward humanity does not obscure or diminish this unique mediation of Christ, but rather shows his power. The Mother of God, the Blessed Virgin, was in this earth the Virgin Mother of the Redeemer, and above all others, and in a singular way, the generous associate and humble handmaid of the Lord. She conceived, brought forth, and nourished Christ. She presented him to the Father in the temple and was united with him by compassion as he died on the cross. In this singular way, she cooperated by her obedience, faith, hope, and burning charity in the work of the Savior in giving back supernatural life to souls. Father James Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.